What's going on, YouTube? How's all the beautiful people? Look at that. We have, couldn't tell you the year, but we have a yard machine. I believe this is a 38 inch mower. Yep, 38 twin blade with a power built, 13 and a half horse. Uh, problem is, not charging. So they install a new battery, it runs until it kills the battery, and then here we are. So. I kind of went through and there's found some bad wires and I re-spliced and that plug is a little janky but anyhow still no charge so I'm going to remove the shroud remove the flywheel and we're going to have a look at the stator and uh, go from there this thing needs a bath but let me get you set up and we'll dive in alrighty then well I think what I'm going to do we just tear this thing apart on time lapse. You guys don't really care to sit here and watch me turn the bolt. So I'll move over to time lapse and we will speed this bad boy up and get to the point, huh? Everything works better that way. So here we go. Alrighty, people. Well, <clears throat> you can see there is another band-aid job here, but I don't believe it was taped up. I don't believe that's what's preventing it from charging. Um, I don't. Nothing is really apparent just yet. But, I'm almost convinced that I want to disable the fuel solid mode on the carburetor. Um, I don't know just yet. I guess I need to pull this thing all the way up and inspect it a little bit closer, you know, on the bottom side and everything. But. I'm not seeing anything just yet that's jumping out at me, but I will uh, do some more digging and I'll bring you back with my finding. Alrighty, Pippa. Well, I checked the flywheel magnets are all good. Well, I was probing around with the multimeter and it wasn't getting anything. Nothing, 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 nothing. Some of you can probably see the troubled spots, right? Look at that, melted. So, we have a faulty stator. Not going to do any more digging. I'm just going to order one. So, that will conclude this video up to this point. This thing will get pushed to the side and parts ordered, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll bring you guys back for a part two. Thank you for joining in. And I know some of you are going to have issues with how I remove the flywheel, but that is recommended in a lot of manuals, so that's why we do it that way. It's easy. Thanks for joining in. Like and sub. You can get the people.